welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. We were recording another hey beanie season. You know we here. Not much of a beanie. Oh, hat season. He wore Crocs outside. Sport in mode. Like Sport mode of in course. ten degree weather. Sport mode, of course. Ten degree weather. There's no sport mode in Crocs in ten degree weather, bro. It's only sport mode in that. Oh my god. Either that or I was going outside barefoot. <laughs> nah, 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 you're not just not. You can't be. We're back. I were reviewing the weekend's album, Dawn FM. Uh, yeah. We've, Dawn FM. we've both listened to this album. For, yeah. 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 I got some it. highlights. I got some. Do I have some lows? I don't have any serious lows on this album. Uh, listen, man. We'll, uh, no, I got the lowest of lows. Click you got the lowest of lows? Clickbait. Damn, bro. <laughs> Clickbait. On, on, on your low life. Mm. We can't exact. Hey, man, this is why I'm here. Hey, like, subscribe just for me making that connection. <laughs> Post notification button, bro. Yo, Abel, sign my boy. Abel, <laughs> sign my right hand. All right, um, Personal. Dawn FM, first track. First track, brother. Good, bow, 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 bow. Yep, that's how that works. I'm in the garden to eat it right now. I'm mad dumb. You are dumb. Bro, I was just about to say, why do they have that one guy that's like on it's TV? Jim Carrey. That's dude. on TBN that'd be like, call this number now. <laughs> Donate your money to the Lord. Yeah, bro. It's got like some night rider vibe to it. This is like... Serial killer stories of the 80s. Exactly. Like it up. Yeah, bro. This sounds like... What's this? You spin me around so I can breathe. It's only safe for you and me. I know you won't let me out beats and pour out the gasoline. It don't mean much to me. Why you wanna be burned? Damn. Yeah, this part right here. This is true age. Pretty sure I heard this on GTA. Oh, <laughs> 
toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Bro is dumb toxic in this album. Yeah, yeah, I get it. This tell. whole album was just him being the most toxic man on the universe. And you love toxicity, apparently. Toxicity go crazy. And you're here for it. I'm here for the toxicity. I'm here know? for it now, too. I'm a lot. But then to say, oh, I see you got married over there. Bro, <laughs> that's so wild. He made a whole song saying, I see y'all married up. For the first couple songs, he sings in a certain way, or at least there's like an effect on his voice. And I feel like this is the first song where it's just him raw, like raw able pause, but like just his voice. Damn. And I was like, for some reason, I get a Drake vibe from this. And I don't know why. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe because he was in the OVO for a minute. Who? Abel. You didn't know that? Nah. Abel used to write for Drake. Oh, Wait, you're an, what? You're an actual idiot. He wrote like half a Take Care. Really, what? I think it was like three songs. But it was like... Really, Not word? Yeah. Oh, I never knew. Abel's credited with like three songs. I didn't take care at least. Somebody in the comments hurting me right yeah, now. You Chill out, bro. I just never knew. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Let me vibe, bro. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Damn it, bro. Yeah, Ignorance is bliss, brother. Just let me rock. It's still heat, though. Although this love is strong, let me some things can change go wrong with me. We don't know how it's going to be ah. forever. It's too long to me. Ah. We don't need the government involved because we like to touch. We don't need no damn religion telling us that we in love. But if we did crash down the road, spending lawyer fees up, pending pack gon' save my ass if these feelings freeze up. You gon' sign this preen up. You gon' sign this preen up. He just doesn't want to take it further. If he's almost legitimately contradicting himself. Exactly. I'm like So in a way it it kinda gets kinda like confusing like midway through the album. I mean last time he was clearly flexing on this girl. Exactly. And now clearly flexing that yeah, and you know, like, oh my new girl kinda fired. You stopped having sex, it's just friends. I'm like I mean, if you just go like it's gotta go somewhere, right? You can't just Y'all really just gonna keep it at that. Did he really expect it to stay at that level? Uh, hey, listen, Abel. I'm just saying, bro. Listen, Abel, you, you gotta you gotta think about that. I wanna keep it close. I don't wanna lose my spot. Cause I need to know if you're hurting him or you're hurting me. If I ain't with you, I don't wanna be. I'm just gonna say the same thing we just said about the last song. Music wise, he. Mm hmm. Lyric wise, Abel, what's going on? Oh, he, what did he say earlier? He's like, I used to be the one that lied. Because I used to be the one who was lying. Mm -hmm. And now you heard about her lying. It's like, once again, dog. <laughs> Yo. Toxicity. You can't, can't really explain it, dog. Damn, he going through some stuff. He, he's, <laughs> can't really explain it. He got some stuff here, bro. Down a wreck. No! I should have left.
Yeah, these like two. that. One eight hundred four one four 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 four. That's one eight hundred four 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 four. Now. All right, we're going to be calling Afterlife. Yeah, my phone's gonna get taken away. One eight hundred four 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 four. All right, speaker. Thank you for calling MCI. Our system indicates you are calling from. This is the number you are calling about. Press one. If not, please listen to the following two options. Uh, what the hell is MCI? I have no clue what that is. <laughs> Next is don't break my heart. Don't let me go. Please, don't you break my heart. Wait, what do you know? He's still with you? What's going on? Abel and this other woman, y'all need your lives. <laughs> y'all need yeah. prayers. Yeah, any prayers? Y'all need to pray. <laughs> y'all need, um, need to pray. Yeah, listen, I need you, you need me. <laughs> We're all a part of God's body. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to survive. Can't be your savage, that shit ain't fly, bitch. Can't be your pilot, can't be your private. Oh, gee, you gotta have like some type of hope. I can't be your hybrid. I heard you marry. I bet he treats you like Virgin Mary. You like it dirty, and I'm dirty, Harry. I thought he was some lovers, canary. What is this bar, man? I bet he treats you like Virgin Mary. But you like it dirty. You and like dirty it Harry. dirty, and I'm dirty. Harry is crazy. I mean, that's a nasty. Who's Larry? I'm, I thought we were some <laughs> birds, some lovebirds, canaries. You word to, to Larry? Larry. Who's Larry? What a love Tell hubby I kill him. No hub cap. What? Tell hubby I kill him. No, no cap. No hub cap. And Abel. What? Hey, yo, this song is joke. I tell hubby I'll kill him. Nah, son, no hubcap. Wow. <laughs> Abel, you felt that in your soul to come back in. Whoa. Wayne's verse, it wasn't terrible, but <laughs> I, I just don't, I just don't know. I just don't know. What's going on, bro? Bro said. I feel like Abel was like, do me a favor and say that I will kill you. I feel like it was like just throw that in there. Please. I bet he treats you like Virgin Mary. You look, you like it dirty, and I'm dirty Harry. That's got to be bar that's, of the century. That's that's bar. That's bar of the year right now. Bar of the century right here. <laughs> Carry me in the middle. You felt this in your soul, bro. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> You're feeling this in your soul right now. Who hurt? Nah, hold on, hold on. Who hurt you? <laughs> no, I'm not. This is a vibey song, bro. This is a... I'm not saying it's not a vibe, but... You're feeling these lyrics, I'm saying. No, no, no. <laughs> you sure? No, there's no, no connection. Just... No connection? Hey, man, I can't speak. Oh, 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 oh. This man went off for two minutes forty eight seconds straight. Straight heat. Straight heat. Gunna who? Gun Corday who? I'm just Corday who? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey next on the block. You feel me? <laughs> Jim Carrey. My nigga Jim. My guy Jim coming out the blocks with bangers, brother. <laughs> 
Who would have known he was going to go into rap next? He got his own radio station, Don FM, on the 3.5. Hit that up. Boy, five, hit up my boy Jim. Probably got more doctrine he given up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of people are trying to compare this album to After Hours. You can't. Yeah, I never, yeah you can't. This, this album is completely different from After Hours, whereas it's like After Hours was, was great for the fact that there were individual singles that were really good. Right, exactly. Save okay. Your Tears, Heartless, Blinding Lights. Mm-hmm. Um, they were all like great singles that could stand alone. Okay. This album though, is just, I, I, I would call it an experience album, whereas it's like, you have to listen to this album in a way of just listening to each song right after the other. It's not yeah. like the singles. The only song I'd say is probably a single is just like Take, Take breath My Breath and uh, Sacrifice. Sacrifice was you know, too. those are songs you can listen to on its own, right? But this album on the whole is made for you to experience the entire thing. Exactly. And, the entire and to put thing. this in the same realm of, of After Hours is kind of wrong yeah, of, doesn't work out. to do that. And then also, what gives me hope as well in the future is that this is going to be a trilogy. So this is the second part of a trilogy album. Of three albums that he's bringing out, After Hours and Dawn FM, and then the third one is I'm guessing next year or 2020. Three, yeah, four, four, four years. Listen, is it the greatest album? No, Definitely but not. but did he accomplish something that I think we we've taken we kind of forgotten when it comes to music? Yeah. yeah, and it's the fact of being able to make music not just for it to be on the radio all the time. Exactly. He's shown his he's shown his ability that hey, I don't need to just make straight bangers for, for radio I can also right. make a really good album just to experience and listen to and he doesn't need to compete with anybody because we already know The weekend already has you know accolades yeah he has the fame he, has right. he already has the fame he already he doesn't need to prove anything to anybody else yeah. it's like what is he gonna prove that he can make another another album with great bangers I'm sure he could do that any time in his sleep if he, wanted, he right. already got a couple bangers right. on this exactly song. he already does and hey, man. it wasn't even made for that so I, I look at it in a way of him accomplishing something, whereas he was able to tell a story. Mm-hmm. Did it get contradicted at times? Probably. Yeah, it did. Damn, this was one story, bro. Yeah, but he was able to actually tell a story and say, hey, this is how I was feeling throughout this entire album with this one girl. This one chick. This one chick and and my, my feelings towards everything. Smack dab in the middle of, it's a good album, and then at the same time, it was just like... This is a trip, and some trip it was. Once again, music-wise, it's just 80s. It's just strict 80s vibe. A lot of Michael Jackson vibes. I heard like a little bit of, uh, dare I say, Teddy Pendergrass, a little Luther Vandross in there, I don't know. Mm-hmm. There was some gospel um, aspects to it too, in terms of songs. The album is fire in respects to beats, overall sound, but when you get into the meat of the album, which is the lyrics, possible meaning as Joshua already said it is very contradicting he's contradicting himself left right and center dude <laughs> like in, in one song he contradicted himself like four times <laughs> which is amazing as Joshua said he can make a banger when he want to make a banger and he's made two bangers on this that are already singles like, I was like yeah wait Sacrifice was a single he released no 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 well oh. yes well no. no, no. Yeah, no. Pre, pre the album, no. Mm-hmm. The only one that was released was Matu of Flame, which was on, the, out, was, was on the deluxe. Mm-hmm. And um, Take My Breath. Yeah. Right. Take My Breath, um, still my favorite song on the album, personally. I do think that the best song on the album, sorry, is Sacrifice, but my favorite is Take My Breath. Score-wise, 3, 2, 1, say, do you have your score? Yeah, yeah, I know my score. All right. 3, 2, 1, 6. 7.5. 7.5, I went 6. 7.5 uh, for me. 7.5, really? I, 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 think, like 6, I think After Hours is probably better. Is this album trying to do something? I I think it I think it just showed his versatility and the fact of like not being it just being able to make a good album. And not just having to make blinding lights and heartless, right. you know, like heartless and blinding lights are made for the radio. Save right, Your Tears exactly. is made for the radio. Star Boy is made for right. the radio. There, there's, there's songs that, you know, but on this album, like, maybe like one or two songs. This, yeah, because... Are made for the album. No one is going to want to listen to you. Precisely. Oh, you broke my heart. The only song then, I could see... 
didn't want to take it further. Only song I could probably see on the radio is Sacrifice. I, I yeah, the only other song other than Take My Breath, yeah. And I don't even think I've ever heard Take My Breath on the radio. Really? I think I've heard Take My Breath. Maybe once, maybe. maybe. But Sacrifice, probably. But other than that, I yeah. don't I don't see any other song on this that, that's doing that. And I agree. It's, it's just showing versatility. Okay. I, I think, I think my score kind of goes into like what I have plans in the future for the next album mm -hmm. because I think he's gonna probably culminate this into a big old big, big old, old album. masterpiece masterpiece album and yeah, he's gonna be a go and it's gonna be it's gonna be good <laughs> tier now hey, if it, you could do it, be, you do it could be a 9 album uh, I'm just saying it could be on a 9 out of 10 album could be a 9 which would be insane I respect it I understand your 7.5 I just feel like it's a 6 because in just terms of listenability, I wouldn't go back to a, a significant number of these songs. Mm -hmm. I think the beats and like the production, mm -hmm. God tier. If it was just that alone, ten, honestly. But then the lyrics and then the vibe of some of these songs. Personally, I just wasn't feeling all of them. The highs are high. The highs are high. I can't really say there are lows because this is no. This is I, literally I just don't a think there's any exactly any serious lows. It's just really just a trip, and mm -hmm. you just gotta experience it to experience it. So. I give it a six, six point five, seven point five. Also, I've I've listened to this album multiple times. Really. Okay, right, yeah. This is my I've listened, to this I've legitimately time. listened to this album like multiple times and kind of gotten my ears to yeah. like it already. So it's 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 probably why I give it higher, right? Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this review slash reaction, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and turn your post notification bells on so you can know whenever we do it. Uh, Videos like this? Videos like this, yeah. Hey, um, if you want to go check out our other reactions, they're on the channel. Um, we've done reaction to Silk Sonic movie, no? Yes, sir. With Notoriety, we've done Sammy Walker, we've, we've done, done the Nas X, we've done Rock. Rob, they're gonna take your face off. <laughs> Which is our most notable video, by the yeah. way. So, yeah, if, you, if you came to, because of that, hey, what's Thank up? You. Thank Thank you. You. Stay, with Stay with us. Stay with us. Subscribe. <laughs> And also, comment what you would like us to probably react to or review. We'll yeah, sure. do it. Also, I have a couple things that we actually do need to review because we uh, left comments and I would actually really... Okay, I want to keep my fan base. We'll so, get there. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. So, uh, later, we're going to do that now. Bye. Thank you.